What is going on guys, it's Kai here and welcome to a brand new video of NFTs. So in the last year, NFTs has been a massive, massive influence, especially in the sneak community. So let's talk about them. This could be a lot more laid back video from myself. I'm not feeling the best, so let's sit back, relax and enjoy today's video. So not only we have seen many people from the sneaker community go into NFTs, we've also seen cook groups close down. We've also seen bot owners close down, all to go to NFTs. Now, why is this? Is this some overgenerated hype or is the money really truly can be made through NFTs? So, as I said, let's talk about it. In today's video, I'll be spending one week learning how to flip NFTs and we'll go from there. Not only that, I'll be giving some tips of how I got started myself and how you guys can get started as well. So without further ado, let's get into it. So first of all, for all the beginners out there, what is an NFT? Because I did not know what this was at first. Now, I know you go online and all they say is non-fungible token because that's what it stands for. But is that really what an NFT is? This confused me quite a lot at the start. And yes, you will get them people that an NFT is just a photo and you can screenshot that and it's your NFT. Well, that is not the case. This is how I like to think of it. When you own this NFT, no one else can own it. So take the Mona Lisa for example. There's one copy of this, one drawing, and that is it. Someone could photocopy that and also have the Mona Lisa, but it's not the original one. Think of this like NFTs. It's not fungible. You can't swap it for the exact same thing. It's yours and it's one-to-one -one and it's unique. So how do we start flipping NFTs? Well, it's all done through Ethereum. Ethereum is a cryptocurrency, which is basically the currency to buy these NFTs. Let's set up our MetaMask wallet. So what is a MetaMask wallet? Think of a MetaMask wallet as somewhere where you store your Ethereum. This is what you're going to use to purchase NFTs. However, remember guys, this is all done in Ethereum. Ethereum's price can go up and it can also go down. So hence why when you're buying NFTs, 0.1 Ethereum might be one price one day. And then you're buying an NFT again for 0.1 Ethereum the next day and it will be a different price. Simply go onto MetaMask website, download the extension and set up from there. Make sure you do not share your security phrase because this is going to be your most important thing and you do not want anyone touching or even seeing that. So how much Ethereum should you start with when flipping NFTs? Now this is the biggest question I get asked all the time. At the end of the day guys, it's all you can afford. Me personally, in this video, I started off with 0.2 Ethereum. And then later on, when I got a bit more confident, I added another 0.5 Ethereum. So I had 0.7 Ethereum. However, 0.2 was plenty enough if you're only going for the small flips and you're looking to learn. Now, 0.2 Ethereum is around 400 to 500 pounds, and this changes day by day. Yes, it is a lot of money. However, guys, there's a lot of money to be made and we'll be testing that throughout this video. So you've got your MetaMask wallet set up. You've loaded up your Ethereum into your MetaMask. Time to start flipping NFTs. So as I said, in this video, we'll be spending one week buying a lot of NFTs and selling a lot of NFTs and see if we can make some money. So how do these NFTs release? Well, it's not like sneakers. Sneakers, you enter a couple of raffles. You hope for the best that you can win a pair. It's not like that at all. Now, there is loads of NFT drops a day. We're talking like 10 to 20 a day, maybe even more. So it's all about finding the projects that you think will do well. And how do you do that? Well, there are three main pointers, in my opinion. So let's get into these three pointers. These three pointers are the community, the roadmap, and the team behind it. So what does this mean? Well, first of all, I'm going to say, guys, in my opinion, the most important one is the team behind it. Has this team got previous successful NFT projects? Because if they do, that is a very strong pointer, in my opinion. Is this team fully doxxed? Are they well known in the community? And does this team have the potential of making a successful NFT project? That's what you've got to do. You've got to believe in the team. And I believe that's the most important factor within these three points. So the other two points, the community. Is there a lot of traction on their Twitter? Have they lined up a couple collabs to the future? Is their Discord looking positive? Is there a good amount of members? Is it an overall positive connection, positive vibes in the Discord channels? This is something you've got to judge when you are looking into this project. So the next, the roadmap. What are their plans with this project? Do they plan on making a game? Do they plan on donating to certain charities? Do they plan on actually giving back to their community? Well, that is something you will look at in the roadmap. So guys, these are three factors about NFTs that you should be looking for when finding a successful project. And as I mentioned before, a group behind you giving these calls, giving these suggestions is a biggest part as well. As I mentioned within the tier three subscription, you're going to get these calls, you're going to get the guidance, you're going to get the support you need. And that is me just not trying to promote my group. That's honestly all of these calls and all the support I have made is through our NFT providers who provide all of these calls and guides within the group. And as I said before, people have been honestly five times in, seven times in their money. 
So without further ado, let's get into the week's worth of NFTs, how much I spent and also what NFTs I picked up and overall how much profit did we make. Before we do get into this, let's set three goals. Goal number one, successfully buy an NFT. This may sound stupid guys, but buying your first NFT is a big thing. When you go into this new world of new stream of income, you do not know what you're getting into. So buying my first NFT is gonna be a main priority for this week's worth of NFTs. Number two, I wanna make 100 pounds in one week of selling NFTs. You're talking 100 pound per week guys, that's 400 pound a month which is £4,800 a year if I can keep up £100 from NFTs. And finally, guys, I just want to gain a lot more knowledge about NFTs. I want to understand what an NFT is and how we are going to make money for the future. So finding a couple projects by myself, knowing what to do, and overall becoming more knowledgeable. Let's roll through the week's worth of NFTs that we did buy and get into how much money we did make. We might be spending a thousand pounds on a NFT drop. One thousand pounds. And the way they're doing it is very different to others. It's a Dutch auction, however, whatever uh, you meant, mint at, sorry, I can't even speak, it's getting very late. Uh, even if you mint at 0.5 Ethereum, and it doesn't sell out till 0.25, they will refund you that difference. So very interesting way of doing things. Um, drop is literally, yeah, as you can see right here, in literally 40 seconds. We will see how it goes. It drops 0 0.05 every three minutes. Um, if pending is very high, if pending goes very high on the dot at 0.5, we will mint. But we will see. 30 have sold. It's going to get the next discount 100%. It's not going mental. Yeah, we should see some good discounts come in. Um, 40 pending, I think about 100 are sold at the moment. My worry isn't minting for too high of a price because you get your, you know, your refund. My worry is the fact, you know, you want this to sell out. That's the biggest thing. You want it to sell out fast as well. Um, so at the end of the day, guys, if I see pending picking up, I'm going to go for it. But it's already been into the next discount here and it's not even many pending at the moment we've got 10 pending now which is a bit better 113 pending 130 pending still two minutes Oh yeah, we're going for it. Gas fees, 13 quid, happy days. Boom, just like that. With the old gas, 364 fucking pounds for a JPEG, eh? <laughs> So boys, it's pumping right now, I think, I don't really know, I'm a bit of a bot, but we're going to list up overnight right now, one day for 0.17 baby, 0.17 baby, uh, yeah, we'll see how it goes, complete listing, 0 0.17, I always get worried that I'm going to like type it wrong or something like that, but yeah, 0.17. We'd be very fucking happy with that. How much are we going to get paid gas for this, eh? Estimated gas, gassy, £7. You fucking... Someone's been drinking a bit too much. A lot of gas. Sign my life away, daddy. Cool. It is up for sale. Right. I got work. And literally, I've got to wake up in five hours. So I'm going to get some sleep. And then I will keep you updated. Um, yeah, not really much else to it, guys. We will go from there. See you guys in the morning, guys. 15 seconds, baby. <laughs>
So we are coming to the conclusion of today's video. Let's go through our goals. Let's go through our profit and overall look back on our NFT experience. And is it something I will be carrying on in the future? Now, remember, guys, this is my first week of selling NFT. So do not be at me in the comments. Do not expect me to make 10 grand in the first week. However, I am very happy with the profit we have made. So let's not waste any more time and let you know on the first overall outcome of this. I have loved this week of learning NFTs. It's absolutely blown my mind to pieces and I've come to the point where I look at it and I think the amount of money that can be made just from flipping NFTs is insane. There is no limit. We're talking millions. People are literal millionaires from selling JPEGs. And I wish I was joking. However, myself, we made a total of £100 profit. Doesn't sound like much money, I know. However, this was one week of me doing NFTs, and I literally mean one week. That's me coming into it, not knowing anything before. That's me doing a lot of my research, and that's also me having a full-time job along the way as well, so I missed out on a lot of potential drops. So let's run down the profits, and actually the most gutting part of how much I paper-handed some of these projects. Now, if you don't know what paper-handing is, it's basically selling it way too early. The project shoots up in value, and yes, you lost a lot of money from profit. So, you remember that book that I bought, my first ever ever nft i did buy this was the first nft so if you don't know OpenSea, and when you first sell your first nft they do take a flat one-time fee for me this was 45 pounds or around about that so if i didn't have that fee i would have made a total of a hundred pounds on this nft and i was over the moon on that my first ever nft could not have gone any better really however obviously with the first time fee we only made a profit of 55 pounds on this release my first ever NFT making literally £55 in two minutes, I was over the moon. This is till I checked the price a week after. Now, please do remember, guys, all of these calls provided in this video are all on my group. And all of these calls, all of this information has been provided within the group. So let's get into it. Then. The price of this book that I bought on this first time of buying has now rocketed over £1,000. You hear that correctly. I could have made over £1,000 profit on this book. That's right, book. That is if I held it for a week, I would have made so much money. It is insane. But at the end of the day, guys, it's better to sell early to make your profits than hold it and it to just dump to the floor. But overall, what have I learned from NFTs? Well, like I said before, the biggest thing I have learned is the amount of money that can be made is stupid. I was doing this on a very, very small scale, having only around $1,000 worth of Ethereum, and I never ever even went anywhere near spending that amount. I only traded with about 200 pounds worth. I didn't take any risks. I was literally minting like one every five projects that was posted within the group. And I was only minting one as well. Had I have gone a lot harder, I, I do believe this NFT profit video could have literally been one to 2,000 pounds profit in a week. The biggest question of all, will I keep on carrying on doing this hustle or will I give it up and focus more on sneakers? I am 100% and I mean 100% going to get better and going to carry on flipping nfts i literally saw people in the community become millionaires from this one week of nfts and that is a normal occurrence for this don't get me wrong it can be very risky and i also seen a lot of people lose money over this week however it's the opportunities that can kill if you haven't watched lucky botter's podcast with saeed they did a podcast talking about nfts and one of them quotes that said said i will fully 100 percent stick by with nfts it was something along the lines of you will buy 10 projects on nfts 10 of them you'll break even you might lose a tiny bit you might make a little bit one or two of them you might lose a fair bit of money one of them you also might make quite a lot of money but that other one that makes that 10th project that one project will change your life and i 100 percent stick by this some of these projects will be minting for like 200 pounds and rocket to over 1000 2000 10000 pounds it is nuts and guys this isn't like sneakers where you enter a raffle and you hope to win one of these nfts these nfts you can literally mint up to 5 10 15 on some of these projects projects literally it's not hard to mint these projects obviously you'll get some here and there that are super duper hyped up and are near impossible to get but the majority of the ones guys you can literally mint with no problem you can buy with no problem at all but I think that's going to round off today's NFT video, guys. You're going to be seeing a lot more sort of this content. And I can guarantee you in the next couple of months, I will be making thousands from NFTs. I hope you guys did enjoy today's video. Drop a like, drop a comment, and most importantly, subscribe to the channel, guys. Let's get up to 5,000 subscribers. We are getting so, so close. 
Remember, all of these calls and all the information regarding sneakers, NFTs is provided within my group. Top link down in the description below, guys. That will give you a list of all the features we provide in each tier to suit your interests, whether that's sneakers or NFTs. Apart from that, let me know how you guys get on. Let me know what you think about NFTs and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out, guys.